All right, Shalom. First off, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaq Kodash. The one that's our apostle and elders, a great millstone. And Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaq Kodash, Rakatama, to the elect out there. Yeah, so we just want to um, do a lesson over, you know, over something we were, we were talking about uh, through the Spirit, you know. And um, as you can see on the screen, it uh it circles around this word sedentary okay you know when you look into this word as you see the definition is on the screen as well all right it's not nothing it's not anything positive it's not nothing that you want to have associated to you okay and um through the spirit we notice that <laughs> mm -hmm. this definition and this spirit which is ultimately a demon um, um, is uh, flowing throughout Israel, okay? Throughout Great Millstone, chiefly, you know, uh, uh, brothers having that sedentary spirit slash mind state, and you can and you and you even see it on on brothers, you know, in their countenance, not taking care of themselves, out of shape, all right, just looking like hell, not not. In, Unnecessary hell at that, you know, not the hell that you catch from being a servant of the Heavenly Father. Hell that you you catch because you put it extra hell on yourself, and you're not taking care of your business. Because you're being sedentary. Yeah, like the word that we got on the screen. Yeah. So yeah, let's go. Let's get. It. Yeah. Let's get it going to it. So um, uh, so the the main definition that we was basically going to focus on was basically number two, because obviously number one it, it don't apply because it's a sitting posture. But number two, as you can see, it says accustomed to sit or rest a great deal or take little exercise. Yep. And it's more than just physical exercise. It's just more it's on your day-to-day -day walk. You being sedentary in your lifestyle. Yep. You're not wanting to grow. You're being stagnant. Because yep. this word is living water. It's supposed to be flow. It's supposed to be flowing. You're supposed to be um constantly growing as well. So you're supposed to be growing in what you're doing, you know, handling your business. You shouldn't be having situations where like the apostles be mentioned and you shouldn't have a situation where you struggle financially and not trying to do good for yourself yeah out of, out of shape the apostles get on you about that you shouldn't be broke you shouldn't be unhealthy you know you shouldn't be you shouldn't be a bug out all right we got the knowledge man we got we got the resources and we got y'all why y'all was shy we got the body the brothers you got the spirit man what, what, what is jake doing you know I got a precept real fast. This is um, uh, First Peter, the second chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll start from one. It says, Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies. You can't be a, a hypocrite, man. All right? You can't be over here cursing out niggas, getting on Esau, you know, condemning, condemning this and that. And here it is. You, you're not even... You're not even applying these these scriptures, these words. Yeah. Your your life and you not you your saying how Esau is out of his kingdom and everything's out of order when your life is out of order. Sure. You don't even have your life in order, man. Mm -hmm. You you're you out here saying with our people how they they low at low estate this and that when all these different things when you you're not even being an example of, of like a a real example because mm -hmm. you got the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding yet you're not applying it like. Like brother say, you being a hypocrite, cause yeah, you got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, yet you're not applying it. You're being sedentary. You just sitting there inactive. You're being stagnant. You know? Stagnant, man. Just sitting on this knowledge, pretty much. Cause the apostles say that all the time. Just cause you know precepts, you can bring precepts out left and right. You know all the breakdowns, all these other things. That doesn't make you a man of the Lord, man. All right, you gotta be a, as well as you being a man of the Lord. You gotta be a man. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life, man? Yeah, we we not trying to make billions or bands on top of bands in this society yet, man. We need your fucking daily bread. You gotta take care of your life, man. Get your get your life in order. Cause how you coming out here trying to serve the Lord when your life not even in order, man? And you telling other people that how they need to get in order when you're not in order. That's that's part of you being a hypocrite right there. Hmm. I got a couple pieces, man. I got I, I got um one too. Yeah. Um. Well, all right, let's let's. Go you can go ahead. All right, a couple. Let me um. 
Let me pull this one. Let me finish this one. I'm bringing out. Yeah. Um, so it says, where far land aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, they were supposed to lay aside all those demons, all right? Supposed to be putting them, putting on um, that new man. We're walking in the uh, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Put off those those nigga traits, okay? That lazy ass, slothful ass, hey, Babylonian customs that we picked up here in Babylon, man. All right. Verse two, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. Yeah, it's all about growing. Cause if you're not growing, what are you doing? You being you being the sedentary, you're sitting still, not moving nowhere. You're not growing. You're just sitting there, man. Cause like I said, the, like the apostles mentions all the time, you can know all the breakdowns, precepts, this and that. Yet that doesn't make you a man of the Lord at the end of the day, man. It's more to it than just that. All right, because the man of the Lord he carries himself in a certain way. You're gonna, you're gonna you're, be a man. Really, first and foremost, man. Starting off with having your life in order, yo. I know your responsibility. Because we all supposed to be leaders. How are you any type of leader when you don't even know what you're doing with your own life? Mm -hmm. Your own life is all out of whack, so to speak. And and then that's just causing more more uh, more ripples in the water to, for for other things to happen later on. That's unnecessary. That could have been avoided. Cause you you being if you a real leader, man, you supposed to have that foresight like a king would, a ruler, a real a ruler. All right, he will see that if I do this or make this move, all these different outcomes is going to happen. And even even the king, he communicates. He has counsels. With certain, with with with, uh, with he had he had certain men that set up that he had councils with. Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I go to war with with this with this nation? All right, the kings don't just don't just make renegade moves, man. He has men that he trusts. All right, men close to him that he have councils with and take uh uh, uh how do you say take advice from man. Yeah. So if you're not communicating, you're not you're not you're not um you're not having counsel. You know, you just you just fucking winging it, doing what the hell you want to do. You're going off. You going? That's what you're off. doing. Yeah. Because you said the scripture said, "Let all things be done with, like do Peace all things with do all things with counsel as well." Yeah. So if you're going without counsel in your whole life, you just basically you're not communicating nothing. And then you want you want to tell us that you want to then you want to communicate once your, your once your situation is bad, so to speak. When you wasn't communicating all the way throughout that, yo, whatever you were doing, you wait until stuff is bad to start communicating problems. Just like just like a person that has a sedentary lifestyle, my my uh, six hundred pound what life? Yeah, they want to wait till it's fucking too late. Now they want to get surgery instead of working they, hard. Yeah, and then they want to get mad at the doctor because the doctor told them like, yo, you too much overweight, yo, you gotta put, you gotta lose some some weight before I can even do surgery on your fat ass, yo, beast ass. You you're morbidly obese. When you look into the word morally, it basically means death. You know. So if you live in a sedentary style, a uh, lifestyle, you're ultimately living a death style, man. You know, a stagnant, dead, fucking way of not even living. You know. So, so you point being, you shouldn't wait till it's too late. You know, you shouldn't let it get to that point. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. You can you can pull out your priest. So I had a couple more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go. Ahead. Uh, mine was in. This is. This up in Sirach. Mm -hmm. And Jake got to be applying this wisdom, man. You know, don't be no damn mockingbird. <laughs> All right. You gonna be a you gonna be found to be a hypocrite, man. Like we was going into. You gotta start applying this wisdom, utilizing it. You know. Yeah, this is Sirach nineteen and twenty four. He that has small understanding and fear of the Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, is better than one that have much wisdom and transgressive the law of Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai. Mm. And so that's basically a person that has small understanding and fear in the Lord. Basically, you got, you still, he's, he's, he looked at in a better light as somebody that has all the knowledge, but you still going off. Yeah, because, because at least that man, he's a, that man of, of small understanding, he fear the Lord. He's going to keep the, he's going to keep. He's gonna keep that which he understands. He's gonna keep the law, statutes, and commandments. That that which what he has hold of, he's gonna keep it. If you fear the Lord, you're gonna keep the commandments. And you're gonna apply it. Yeah. That's the main thing, because that's the way you are keeping it by applying it. Because mm -hmm. it's not just knowing it, you apply it through action, man. Mm -hmm. 
Just like the scriptures say, I believe, therefore I have spoken. If you're speaking, you should be doing what you're speaking. Because then that goes into you being a hypocrite if you're not doing it. Scriptures say, be hearers of the word, doers also. Yep. You know? You supposed to be applying this, man. All right. You shouldn't have that, that, that sedentary mentality, man. You got to have that. You got to have that. Like we were saying, man, you got to have a, a boss mentality, man. Like you, you, you running shit. Yeah, you gotta have your life in order. You gotta have be able to communicate because the boss, even though he's calling shots and doing everything else, he's communicating to other people when he's making his moves. Yep. So he knows what's going on over here. You communicating over here, like getting stuff lined up. Are right, you finna make this move? Like, hey, bro, I'm thinking about doing this or that. Just, just like the brother, like the other video, the brother sent out to us. So the group thread communication is key, man. Mm -hmm. And it goes. That's really what it circles back to. With you being when you when you're sedentary, why are you why are you sedentary? Because you're not communicating. Because if you were communicating, other brothers would know that you were like that, and then they'll get on you and reprove you for being like that, and get you out that mind frame. Yep. But if you don't want to get out that mind frame, you're not going to communicate. You're going to just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, that's why that's why dudes that live a sedentary lifestyle, who they do, they end up they end up having to hire a personal trainer, somebody that's going to get on their ass. Yep. Tell them what to do. All right, man, you got to eat like this. You ain't eating no more of that bullshit. Come on, we going to the gym. You about to hit these burpees. Oh, I don't want to do it. I'm tired. We don't, I don't give a fuck how tired you are. All right, we, man, you, you going to be tired after I'm done with your ass. Yeah, and I done did the training stuff. And, my, and clients done told me straight up, like, I hired you to curse me out because I'm straight too lazy. Up. I'm basically too lazy to do shit on a damn self, man. There you go. You're not a leader. You can't even, they wasn't, they they, they were sedentary. They wasn't able to, to do stuff themselves. They had to get told. You wasn't a boss. You, was, you wanted to get bossed around. And these are people who's actually owners of top companies. Yeah, making this is working for tech companies, making like like millions or like a hundred k a year. But you you hiring me to tell you what to do mm -hmm. because you can't even get your own life in order. Well, that's right. It's um yeah man. That's why the scriptures say with all that getting, you gotta get understanding. Mm -hmm. You can't just be a mockingbird and just saying things. I mean, you got to get a full understanding of what you're saying and apply it. You know, understand the severity of these words, man. It's uh, Psalms 2 and 10. Go ahead. Psalms 2 and 10. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Yeah, you got to be wise, man. If you're not being wise, where are you being? You're being simple. All right. And you're supposed, to be, you're supposed to be a king. So you how are you how are you instructing somebody when your your life is self destructive? <laughs> yep. Hey, let's what let's go um second Corinthians thirteen and five. You know? Yeah. Cause we supposed to be we supposed to have a world class mentality, man. What kind of what kind of leader doesn't have his, his own shit in order? That's yeah. that's the type of that's the type of the a kingdom that gets thrown down. Mm-hmm. It ain't gonna last because you ain't got you ain't got your stuff together. It's all sloppy, man. Yep. And it's not gonna last. Matter of fact, before that, since I'm just following Jake Spirit, man, this is uh Ecclesiastes chapter ten. Mm -hmm. Verse eighteen. Yeah. By much slothfulness the building decayeth, mm. and through idleness of the hands the house droppeth through. There it goes. Through idleness, man, and being slothful, yep, being that's, be, that's being sedentary, basically. Yep, that's, that's all. all that's all. all synonyms. That's all synonyms. That's yep. all related to each other, man. Because mm -hmm. you're doing the same characteristics, mm -hmm. basically not doing nothing at all. And we're building a spiritual house. The Lord said we're lively stones, man. We're supposed to be active. Yep. We're supposed to be moving. We're supposed to be vibrant. And scriptures say, by you're supposed to be working hard to to get your work for your daily bread, man. Yeah. You over here. Just like the other dude that fell out, or, or that not he wasn't part of the yeah, count. Yeah. The other dude that bugged out, but um, you, you didn't even tell nobody your situation. And then all of a sudden, after you threw, now you want to come out and say, "Oh, I'm go like this because of y'all. I'm in this situation." But you didn't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. So that's what did it go back to? You didn't communicate, man, and you didn't have a boss mentality, man. Why are you being a fucking scrub, letting yourself get to that point, man? That's and really you, what you're doing. And when you, you have foresight, you didn't see yeah. y'all need to turn this around because. The end of this road is gonna be a fucking destruction. A, a cliff, yeah. Because <laughs> you don't even got it. It leads you to homelessness. 
Because you ain't got your life together. Now you kicked end. out. Yeah. Yeah. And then you want to turn around and try to blame somebody else that why you got there. You let yourself be there because you was thinking like a goddamn scrub mm-hmm. instead of thinking like a fucking man. A real man, when he's, when he, when he, uh, he's struggling, what are you going to do? He's going to boss up and handle his business, man. Get on a, If you got one job, it wasn't enough. Get another job. Shit, get three jobs if you had to, man. Whatever you had, like, you know, you want to do what you got to do. That's not going off to handle your business, man. Yep. That's right, man. Yeah, you see the characteristics of the, and it, that dude. He was lazy. He couldn't communicate. He wanted to him, get was, bossed around. He was out of shape. He just looked like hell, and you could tell it, the physical yeah. is yeah. a representation of your spirit, man. Because this is our house. You over here treating your treating your house like shit. Yeah, I'm gonna get a new body anyway. You know, I'm gonna we, just eat bullshit. I'm we at the end. This place about to be destroyed. Fuck you thinking? So you thinking that just because this place is gonna be destroyed is justifying your actions, man? Justify you being simple. Justifying you destroying your fucking body? Yeah. Destroying your spirit ultimately. You're supposed to be taking care of your temple, man. man. You over you defiling it basically, like for um, for what? Why? We already catch enough hell in this society. Why are you putting more hell on yourself, man? Yeah, uh, this is Proverbs uh, twenty one and twenty five. Mm-hmm. The, the desire of the slothful killeth him. Cause you want to be lazy. You want to live a sedentary lifestyle. You want to yeah. chill. The scriptures say in Micah two and ten, this ain't our rest. Yeah, you gotta you gotta labor that we post it into the into the rest. See, we got labor for everything here. We got labor just so we can stand in in somewhat of a, a all right fucking shape. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you gotta it, labor for for money to pay bills. Yeah, you got we gotta go like you gotta labor for everything, man. Bro, this is a spiritual battle. We gotta labor just to stay in this faith. We gotta fight every damn second of our life, you know. It says the desire of the slothful killeth him, for his hands refuse to labor. Yeah, hmm. your hands refuse to labor, man. You don't want to do no type of work, all right? Because it would be like I was saying, well, like I'm gonna keep on saying it, because it's not about the spiritual aspect. Because it'd be dudes that has the spiritual aspect down. Mm-hmm. You know a lot of information. You're still not right though, yeah. Because you're being slothful in, in your your worldly business, man. Yeah. You're not being a man in the in the worldly sense, man. Handling your business, pay, taking care of your bills, having a roof over your head, the yeah. basic basic necessities that you need to be able to take care of yourself and make it to camp and do these other things. Take care of the body, pay your tights. Like you gotta you, you gotta be balancing all things, man. You know, are you? That's 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 great that you're t- handling the spiritual aspects. You have to be handling the physical as well. You gotta work. The apostles, the elders, they be working. All right, and they don't even have to yet. They they they've been doing it, man. Mm-hmm. They don't need nobody to get on their helmets. They shouldn't have to get on you. You camp leaders, you're a grown ass man. Nobody should be holding your hand, all right? Yeah. You should know what you should be doing. Really, man. Now, we in the time, man, where Jake ain't about to. Jake ain't. The Lord, man, the Lord on his way back, man. Jake ain't about to sit here and be hella repetitive. We only go, Jake only repeat himself so many times before judgment is get executed, man. Because, like, the video I was watching before. Lord, we the, we in that time where the Lord nipping all that shit in the butt, man. Mm-hmm. Shit ain't sliding no more. We only going Jake only gonna repeat themselves so many times before that judgment just comes down, man. And the scriptures uh, uh, speak about that. You know, I'll bring. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll bring that out real fast as I talked about it. Um, yeah, cause like you you repeat yourself, try to be co- you know cool with Jake. You just tell, like telling Jake like, oh, you need to work on this or that, and then they'll just say, "Cun." And then go in one ear and right out the other. You're not even applying what was said to you, but you're saying you heard, you heard what was said. How the hell did you hear what was said if you're not doing shit? And then that just that just further shows you don't take shit serious. So you don't want to take it serious. You can get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Nobody needs you around. The Lord don't need you, man. Yeah. Cause you you're not. What are you doing, man? You are, you showing up, but you ain't doing shit during the week. Yep. You ain't doing shit with your life, man. You're not applying. Because through experience, that's how you grow. Mm-hmm. And if you ain't going, how are you getting experience if you're not bettering yourself in a society, man, to be able to have more experience, man? More of a testimony. More, more of a testimony. If you ain't doing nothing with your life, man, you ain't got shit to say because you're a fucking scrub. Yep. You're being stagnant. You ain't doing shit. Mm-hmm. This is, uh, from, uh, I'll go to this. This is Romans 12 and 11. This is uh, Roman 12 and 11. It says, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Yeah, you a lot of, a lot of people love being slothful, man. Mm-hmm. 
because you don't, you don't, your hands refuse to labor. You you lazy really if you if you slothful like because we like we said it's not a lot of a lot of the times it may not be the spirit spiritual aspect. Yet it can be that, but yet a lot of the times it's Jake just being slothful in a in a worldly sense too. Yeah, because it's a balance. It's you a gotta balance. Your business and on all scales. That's a part of you having your business. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be in a in a bad predicament. You about to, you don't know how you gonna pay rent. Yeah. Or where you gonna lay your head you, at? So you didn't know the oh, fuck. You didn't know at the beginning of the month you couldn't fucking make it for rent. And you wait until the day of or the day before to be like, oh, I don't. Then you hit the bro up like, oh man, I don't. I ain't got money for rent. You wait to the last fucking minute to say something, and that's the typical. The Jake wait until it's too late. And that's you being slow for in business, man. You supposed to be taking care of your business, man. What the fuck you doing? Yeah. You got like you got all this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and you ain't doing shit, yo. That shit ain't cool. It ain't cool. It ain't cool to y'all by shim y'all shot and other brothers that that see that and 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 realize what you're doing. That shit ain't gonna slide either, man. Nope. Jake gonna get on your fucking helmet. You want to be a scrub, and then you basically want us to help you out, but you want to continue to be a fucking scrub, man. Yep. Ain't nobody gonna feel sorry for you because you're not helping yourself. You want me to help you when you don't want to help your fucking self. Yep. I'm not helping shit. Sure, you can stay a scrub by your damn self, man. Yeah. You don't want to do no type of work, and you want to. We want to get a handout. Hey, man, we we on bro. Most high ain't fucking raising no scrubs, all right. You know. Yeah, he want elite. We're the elect. We're elite, we're elite men. You're supposed to be elite minded, man. Everything you put your hand towards, you probably excel at it. You know, supposed to be low level thinking. You don't supposed to be a low level thinker, man. All right, you supposed to be high, bro. High level, elite minded, man. The hell is wrong with you? Oh, I'ma just, I'ma just do this and do that and just, just scurry along until the missiles. Bare come. minimum. Yeah, bare the minimum until the missiles come. Fuck the bare minimum. You being man. slothful. You being lazy. Yeah. That lazy shit ain't, ain't that shit ain't, ain't sliding no more, man. Yep. Doing be. doing bare minimum. Mm. You ain't you ain't fervent, all right. You claim you fervent for the Lord, but you ain't trying to. How are you gonna do more if you a fucking scrub? How you do? How can you do more for the Lord if you're a scrub? You could barely afford to make it to camp, barely afford to do anything, barely afford to pay tights, barely afford to do all these different things, man. What the, what are you doing? You can't do shit now. Now it would be to the point to where brothers gotta fucking take care of your ass. Like you, you are a goddamn kid. You, if you ain't my fucking kid, yeah. so I ain't taking care of no grown ass man. You gonna take care of your goddamn self? Cause everybody already got their own their own business they gotta do, man. Jake ain't got time to to do they do they daily business and then worry about what the fuck you doing. Mm -hmm. You too old for that shit, yo. Yep. You need to communicate what the fuck you doing. I I shouldn't have to hold your hand. All right, you're a grown. You're a grown ass man. I shouldn't have to do that shit. That's why it's only gonna get things are only gonna get repeated so many times before fuck judgment come down, man. Because Jake takes shit too lightly. When you talk cordially with Jake, try to instead of cursing him out, instead of trying to bring judgment directly on him, and Jake take advantage of that liberty, man. Yeah. And then it gets it really it just gets exp, exp, um it gets it comes out through the spirit. It gets revealed that you really ain't shit. We're gonna go ahead. This is uh Second Corinthians thirteen and five. Uh, yeah, go ahead. It says, "Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? Mm -hmm. How how that Yahweh Shah my shock is in you, except you be reprobates." Yeah, you gotta prove yourself, man. You gotta know yourself, man. What the fuck? You you know what you're doing, man. Cause like we ain't with you twenty four seven. You know everything you're doing and what you're not doing. But Jake just like to play dumb. Yep. And that shit that shit out the window. Cause we see right through that shit when play Jake plays stupid. Like you don't know what's going on. Playing simple and shit. The Lord know. The Lord see you. All right. So you not at the most high is not mad. You can all right. You may be able to get over on, on brothers here and there. It's not gonna always work. And ultimately, it's going to bite you in the ass, man. Hey, the Lord's tightening the shit up, man. The Lord's tightening things up in the body, man. So all that little bullshit that Jake was always trying to pull back back in the day, that shit ain't sliding no more. Now the Lord's tightening things up, man. You see the apostles making orders that only certain men should be around each other. That's in certain levels, all right, certain ranks, all right. A lot of things are getting tightened up more. So a lot that shit ain't sliding no more, man. Mm -hmm. All that little bullshit that Jake always liked, to, that was, Jake was, was pulling. All right, like being being slothful, all right, whether it's in the spirit or whether it's in your daily walk, handling your business in the world, all right? The Lord ain't tolerating none of that, man. 
Yeah, all that buddy, buddy, all your brothers understand. Yeah. You know how it is. Nah. Nah. We don't understand. The Lord don't understand. Every week you showing up through and then you saying that oh, I'm having financial struggles every week or every month. What the fuck are you doing, man? That's how Jake's looking at you now. It's to that point, because if you were, if you were in any camp, you were around high-level bros with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that could easily help you get a job if you need be or do whatever you need to get help in, and you just come showing up through still, not communicating. Jake going to look at your ass and curse you the fuck out, man. Because yeah. there ain't no excuse. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? You, then you end up being, you looking like a fucking hypocrite. Like, what are you even doing out here? What are you doing bringing out the scriptures and, and, and telling people, what they need to be doing and getting in order when you like the brother say your life ain't in order. You ain't even applying it, you know. Jake down there felt like him. I wouldn't even want to bring the scriptures out with you, cause I feel like I'm 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 standing next to a goddamn hypocrite, a fucking scrub, man. You know, somebody who don't want to do better and, and and get the fuck out of here, you know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'll repeat this one more time. This is Second uh, Corinthians thirteen and five. Examine yourselves. Test yourselves, man. All right? The Lord is already, we're already being tested day in and day out, man. So when you want to set a standard for yourself, all right? Like, fuck it, man. I'm going to kick it in gear. Oh, three videos a week. I'm going I'm to I'm do more. I'm gonna, I want to tap in with brothers more. I want, I want better for myself. I'm going to strive for this. I'm going to do more of that. I know my weaknesses are, are this. Or I know I'm slacking at this. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm work on that more. You know, this week I want to zone in on my weaknesses. Every day. What you ain't why do you why do you Jake's man? You ain't got no standard for yourself. You don't got you don't got you you don't want better, man. You don't want to do better. You just wanna be a fucking scrub. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. And you're not in the faith if you if you in the scrub like mentality or, or loser mentality. Yep. The most high is raising winners, man. He giving crowns out to winners. He ain't putting up he ain't putting a crown on the scrub head. <laughs> Real shit. You shot, yeah, I wish I was not putting a crown on the scrub head. You're not no goddamn warrior, man. You a, you a fucking loser. You don't want to do better and, and win. You want to be, you lose, you want to lose, man. You really want to lose. Because a person that's lawful in in his business and is handling his business for your daily bread, you really, you slothful. You, you could be going harder in everything. Yeah, it's all, that's why it's, it's deeper than just, than just, all right, I'm going to just do live bills and read and just be in the house and be a bug out. You got to get in the matrix. You got to get your daily bread. You know, you got to apply this wisdom. You got to get experience, man. Yeah, do something with your fucking self, man. Yeah, get a hobby. Do You know what I mean? Like, get out there. Yeah, because you got this wisdom and knowledge and understanding, but you ain't applying it if you're just sitting locked up. You hiding it under a napkin. Basically. Yeah. Because going back to what we said about the experience, man, you're not getting no experience, man. How are you getting any experience if you're just sitting in one area? you sitting stagnant in one area. You're not going, hey, experience means to try out. And we're going to examine it yourself. How are you trying out this wisdom that you've been imparted if you're not getting out there and putting it to test, putting it to use? Mm -hmm. You know? And putting it to use on yourself. It says, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is in you, except you reprobates, except yeah. you avoid of judgment, avoid of understanding. You know? Then when shit hit the fan, shit blows up in your face now. Now you looking all bugged out and just completely through, man. Exactly. Oh, I don't know how, how this happened. Oh, I didn't expect this. Like your What the fuck you mean? You didn't never communicate nothing. You just kept on just rolling, kick like just just Winging it, all right, horribly, horribly. And, he, and he wait until shit hits the fan, and then tell Jake like, "Hey, I, you know, I'm, I'm in a bad, I'm in a bad situation right now, but it was something that could have been avoided if you would have communicated, all right." So Jake ain't trying to hear that, yo. Yeah, I got a quick precept. This is in on the apocrypha. Mm -hmm. This is um, Sirach chapter eighteen, all right, uh, verse twenty. Sirach eighteen. Verse 20, before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy. Yeah, you got to examine yourself, man, because that's, that's really what it goes back yeah. into, because if, you, you, if, you exam if you're not examining yourself, mm. what are you doing, all right? It's going, you're going to just lead yourself to destruction, man, because you're not trying to critique little things that you're doing here and there if, you, if you're not examining yourself, because you're not really thinking about it. You're not tripping. 
you just winging it, showing up and just doing whatever, thinking it's cool. All right, I just show up, just do my three videos, just do the like, you know, do enough to slide the under minimum. the slide under the radar, so to speak. Do the bare minimum. And Jake sees Jake see everything, man. Even though it may not be mentioned to you. Word for word, every little thing you do, Jake see everything, man. And Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakakwa, I see everything, man. And he puts the spirit on brothers to, to end up putting scope on your ass, man. Because the Lord ain't going to let it go for so long. And he's going to cause something to happen for the scope to get put on you, man. Yep. You that, know when you slip in? Yeah. Like the scriptures say, wise men fall seven times and get back up. Oh, no, so like not even that one. Uh, uh, a, a prudent, either a wise or a prudent man. Uh, know if when he's slipping, yep. you know, not not quoting verbatim, you know when you slip in the spirit, it goes back to where you bring it out Second Corinthians thirteen and five. You know you're not your own self; you should be a reprobate. Do you mm -hmm. not have spiritual discernment? Do you not know when, when you lack in? Or, or I haven't been in the spirit as, as often this week or as much, or I haven't been doing as much as this as I should have. Whatever the case may be, I've been overindulging in some bullshit or whatever. I'm communicating. I haven't been doing as much videos as so I feel like I'm doing reading, praying, fasting, battling these demons. You know? Alright. Yeah, man. You just you just let it, you just you just say fuck it. I'ma just keep doing it and, and to the point where your your life is completely out of order. And now mm -hmm. judgment is coming down. You know? Yeah. And then you looking dumb. You looking, looking stuck on stupid. You looking. Cause Jake gonna ask you why? What? Why did you let it get here? And you just gonna no type of answer. It's gonna be some bullshit. It's gonna be a fucking punk ass excuse. A real man ain't gonna got no have a, a wicked fight if an excuse, man. Mm -hmm. A real man ain't got an excuse. He owns up to what happened. Say I was fucking off. Yeah, I fucked up. That's all you can say. Cause it, you, we already know that shit. That was you was doing. That's that better be your answer. Yeah. Cause you let the shit get there already. So you, that's that's the only answer. Logical, reasonable, reasonable answer you could give. Anything outside of that, man, you bullshitting. Mm -hmm. You you basically lying to the brother's face at that point, and brother see right through that shit, and then gonna put the heat on you even more, man. Instead of giving a, a truthful answer, you lying now. Yeah. Bullshit, man. The Lord, like we said, man, the Lord ain't tolerating this shit no more, man, because the Lord is just nipping all this little bullshit that Jake do in the butt. So if you don't want to get on point, you want to tighten up. You want to be a scrub and a loser. Hey, you get off the team, man. Cool. Hey, man, the Lord. This is a winning team. Yeah, this ain't no losing team. team. All right. We in it to win it, man. We ain't join in 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 in, in, uh, in thoughts of maybe maybe we'll win. No, we join because we know this the winning team. We know this is where it's at. We have full faith and hopes in that, man. We have our works and we have our and man, we have our spirit in this, man. We all in because we in it to win it. So if you if you if you a loser, man, get the fuck off the bus. Get mm -hmm. off the team, man. Go on the B team. Alright? Go on the team that didn't make the final cut. You know? Really just go sit your ass on the bench. Sit on the bench. You don't want to do Be nothing. A bench warmer. Yeah. Go sit on the losing team bench, cause you don't want to do shit. Yeah. We on the winning team, man. The Lord he he dealing with winners, man. He yeah. ain't dealing with no no losers who got a scrub mentality, man. Yeah. It's more than just it's more to it, man. You gotta do everything, be balanced in all things, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta have how you you trying to be a ruler in the, in the kingdom to come, but you you can't even get your fucking life in order right right now. Yep. What kind of shit is that? And you really expect you think you really gonna be one of the the chosen, and you and you don't even got shit in order in your life. Yep. What type of you ain't no you ain't no type of leader, man. You yeah. a follower, man. You should you deserve to t to take orders, not to give any type of order, man. Mm -hmm. Right, man. Even even the ancient prophets, man, they wasn't no goddamn scrubs. They were they were men. Hey, man, everything that they did, they excelled at it, man. King David, he was a Renaissance man. He was good at every fucking thing, you know. They were no goddamn scrubs, man. You know. This uh, unless Jake had anything else, we can we can uh, end it off on this. Okay. Saint Matthew chapter five verse forty eight. You know. Hey, man, cause this the Lord. The Lord is is is, is um perfecting us man and if you if you don't want to be perfect hey man you can you can you can get the fuck out of here 5 and 38 5 and 48 48 good the last the last verse pretty yeah much. i got it okay st matthew 5 and 48 be therefore perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect yeah you got supposed to be perfect man and it's full full spectrum man mm -hmm. it goes in a full circle man not just being in the spirit all right 
you gotta be a man as well, man. You gotta handle, you do all things, man. Handle your your shit in all things, man. You shouldn't be late. You shouldn't be mm. late on your fucking bills. Mm. All right. You shouldn't not be communicating. All right. It's no reason for you shouldn't have like you shouldn't be putting yourself in a debt. All right. You mm. should be handling your, your shit, man. You gotta be perfect, man. All right. Cause you can't just be fucking off, man. All the, the time of bullshitting and giving these weak ass excuses, we Jake tired of hearing that shit, yo. And really, the yeah, I bought you, I was shy, but I should I was tired of hearing that. Mm-hmm. You don't want to hear it. when the Lord returns. You think he want to hear why you was being a scrub, man? You think it's good enough? Like, oh Lord, I did my three videos and 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 I I wasn't communicating really, or I didn't do, I wasn't really trying to do do much with myself. But I was doing this and that. No, man, you sound like a loser, man. Yeah. You don't want to win. You're not That's no right. leader. Yeah. Just I, like you said, they all found an excuse. Cause a winner, he giving a speech. A loser giving an excuse for why he lost. The winner was like, yeah, I like to thank the Most High. I like to, I like to say the water get help by Shemya Shah by Shemya Kodash. All right, this wouldn't have been possible without without those two en- entities. Okay. They giving shout outs, man. A loser, he showing up. Yeah, you know we ain't do we ain't play good tonight. You know, loser show up through. <laughs> you got your you got your head down through excuses where you know we we wasn't well rested or we could have did better. That's that loser speech, man. A winner, he popping bottles, all right, flexing, stun on Esau, got cheerleaders, <laughs> all right, yeah. and he got the trophy. The reason why he's the winner, man, he he wasn't accepting no L's, man. That's right. He ain't had that loser mind frame. He had the mentality that I'm going in here to win it, man. Fuck, I'm not taking no mm-hmm. L's. Mm-hmm. This um, Ecclesiastes nine and ten. I thought about this. Okay. Take bring this out. Yo, it says uh, Ecclesiastes nine and ten. Whatsoever thou thy hand findeth to do, this lets you know that this is not just talking about mm-hmm. spiritual work. Okay. Yep. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with all. I um, do it with thy might. Mm-hmm. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom, in the grave whither thou goest. Exactly, man. So if you're not doing it with all thy might, and you're being a scrub, man, like you, you're through. Really, what's the purpose of you being around the body, man? Because mm-hmm. the body, the body's uh, the the human body, man, is fully functional and everything works together. It doesn't have a part of the body that's a, that's fucked up. That's like that's that's off. All right, that's messed up. We all supposed to be like in one agreement. All right, perfect, a perfect without blemish. The body, same mind, same, same mind. Judgment. Everybody trying to do do good into their stuff because you by you doing good for yourself. Now you can help the next brother out or do contribute more to the brotherhood, man. You can just do do a lot of more a lot more instead of you being a lot more of a burden. Cause that's all you really will be. You're gonna be if you're a scrub. You have a scrub like mentality, just like in the world where you have friends that was you. You have a group of friends, and then some of them that got, that works a lot got a good paid job, this and that. And then it's that one friend in the group. He got a weak ass part time job, but don't but don't want to do nothing else. Y'all going out to to eat, or going out to do this and that. He looking at y'all like you might a. You might looking out for me, bro. I'm kind of tight on money, this and that. You try putting him on, but he he wants you to look out when it's time to cover the bill. But when you look out for him, I try attempting to put him on with a, a job or some money moves. He 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 he, he can't do that. Yeah, because he likes chilling out, not yeah, doing like being shit, being a scrub, being a scrub, basically being sedentary. Yeah, not making. You don't want to do. Sh- you don't want to work. You want to just be lazy and mooch off the next person, man. Mm-hmm. That shit ain't sliding no more. Yeah. That's right, man. Hey, man. That, uh, that yeah, that, it. That's it, bro. It you know, let Jake want. No. Nah. That's it. You know? Hey, man. The Lord is not raising no scrubs, yo. All right? But TLC said, I don't want no scrub. You, you over here, you got the nerd thing. You can You shouldn't. You shouldn't. A bitch shouldn't even be on your mind. Bitches don't want no fucking scrubs. Yeah. You need to get your life in order, man. Over here thinking about. That should be the last thing you're thinking about. You know? B- bitches want. They looking at somebody with that's, that, that got their shit together, man. The fuck? All right, and the Lord don't want no scrubs, man. Straight up, man. We supposed to be on. We supposed to be on point. All right, when we present ourselves to you, I was shy, man. And we, and you, you're through. You should present yourself through. Yeah. Dirty ass garment, a dirty ass your wedding wedding gown on. 
makeup all smeared over your face. A through ass sacrifice, man. A through. Yeah. But you thinking that you you about to be the part of the elect, the, the one that's going to be leading our people in the next kingdom to come? You ain't even, you're not even trying to be the best right now? Because the elect, they're the, they're the top, man. Yeah. Out, out of the two thirds of our people, our, the rest of our nation, man. We, they're the top, man. And you don't want to, you're not, you're not carrying yourself as such. If you got a scrub like mentality, man, you, you're, what are you doing? You're, you need to get out of here, yo. Yeah. This ain't for you. If you want to be a scrub and all that, cool. But don't do that shit over here. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to be around that, man. We trying to be around like-minded men. All right, who want to be a winner? Who want who want to who actually carry that stuff with a ruling class mentality? Man. Yeah, that's, hey man, that's okay. that's what it is, you know. So hey man, just don't don't be a scrub, you know. Shake that mind frame off. All right, we have we have the we have the um um the be the best uh, examples. All right, here on Earth right now, it's the apostle and elders on down. Okay. We have the resources, we have the knowledge, we got the spirit, man. Alright? So so it's it's no excuse for none of this nonsense, man. You know, and this is not the time. Alright, it's time for Jake to lock it in. Okay? You know? Get get in the spirit and stay in the spirit. Alright? And do what's do what's needed of you, man. Being as as, as less of a burden to brothers as possible, cause we all catching it, man. And we're all, we're all bearing each other burdens at the end of the day. Man, we're not here to put extra burdens on brothers that's unnecessary. You know, and even and on yourselves. On ourselves, you know. So, hey, man, yeah. That's what it is, man. Hey, man, we, we ready. We ready. We, we're, we're willing and ready and meant to be made perfect, man. All right? And if, and if, you, and if you're not willing and ready-minded, Hey man, the Lord is gonna destroy you, man. Cut, cut and dry to the point. The Lord is gonna get rid of you, and He's gonna destroy you ultimately, man. You know. Mm -hmm. Hey, the Lord is not dealing with scrubs, man. For real. Yeah, man. So hey, with that, man, hopefully the point, the point sinks in, man. To those that it needs to hit. All right. Um. We gonna go ahead and close out once again, giving our praises to Yahweh, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakal Kodash. All right, double honors to our apostle and elders, a great millstone who ruled well. Okay, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakal Kodash, Barakatham to the elect out there. All right, those faithful laborers and workers, man. You know, hey man, death to America. Okay, all right, Shalom. Yeah, Shalom. Yeah.